I would like first to share with you my first experience with the Patriot Guard. On January 9th, 2007, Minnesota lost another soldier. His name was Staff Sergeant James Wasika Jr. James and my son Kyle were friends, serving in Iraq together. I knew that we needed to pay our respects to his family. It was our duty as Americans and also because Jimmy was Kyle's friend. The visitation for Sergeant James Wasika was held at Highland Park High School on a Thursday night in mid-January. The weather that day was bad. It was bitterly cold and it had been snowing all day. The plows had not cleared the streets and driving to the high school that day was challenging to say the least. I approached the high school parking lot to see stand, people standing along the sidewalk with flags. I was stunned at the sight, but I also felt this was a great way to honor a fallen soldier. I could not believe that all of these men and women would volunteer to stand there in bitter cold in snow and slush to honor one of our heroes. The second experience that I had with the Patriot Guard was on April 3rd, 2008, when our family asked to have them present for the visitation and funeral for my son. Our family decided to make this a public visitation so that all that wanted to attend and pay their respects would have that opportunity. The flag line for Greg's visitation was breathtaking. Although we were surrounded by strangers, there was comfort knowing that there were so many people there willing to help us in any way that they could. The evening was long, and this was the first funeral that required the funeral home to have a visitation in a high school. When the night came to a close, Mary, the funeral director, said that she needed help taking Greg from the stage to the hearse. I looked around and I saw many members of the Patriot Guard, so I said we could ask some of them if they would be willing to help. And she turned to me and said, are you sure? And I said, yes. I was told that they would be willing to help. It was time for us to leave, and I knew that Greg was in good hands and that he would be taken to the hearse carefully and with respect. I do not know who the members were that placed my son in the hearse that night, and there are no, no words to express my heartfelt gratitude. 